With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a point and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler point action menu. Locate the move action. With the move action selected, you'll have a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the by brush radius target. Returning to my model and simply hovering over a point and then clicking and dragging will perform a move action on that actual point. Now while I'm performing this action, if I hold down shift, it'll perform a slide action. And then if I hold down alt, it'll perform the move based around a world axis. Now when the target by brush radius is selected, the points that are affected by this move is determined by your brush size. So with a small brush size, if I just hover over this point and drag, I'm only going to be moving one point. If I undo that and now change my draw size to something larger, and now come across the mesh and click and drag, you'll notice that I'm going to be affecting more of those points on the surface of the model. So using this actual draw size up here, you can determine how many of those points are going to be affected when you perform the action. Now if I hover over a point again and press spacebar, we have a few other targets that we can change as well. So we have these infinite X, Y, and Z options through here. And if I have one of these targets selected and then return to my model, when I click on this point, ZBrush is going to look at the actual axis I've selected, so X, Y, or Z, and then it's going to move all the points that are in line with the point I select along that axis. So if I click on this point here and I have the infinite X selected as my target and simply click and drag, you will notice that all the points in the X axis have now being moved. If I undo that and now go back into the point action menu and now select infinite Y and come across that same point and click and drag, you'll notice it's now going to be moved in the actual Y axis. So using these different targets here, you can come through and move entire rows of polygons as long as they're all aligned in a certain axis. There's also the infinite X, Y, Z, which will automatically try to determine which axis you want to move in based on how the model is positioned on your canvas. Finally, we have the infinite depth target. Now with this target selected, if I turn my model, ZBrush is actually going to look at the camera depth and move any points that are aligned based on the camera angle. So right now I have this point, and if I want to move this point, and then this point, and then the ones that kind of recede back, all I need to do is come through and kind of reposition my model like so, so all those points are lined up. Then I can choose a different draw size here, and then just simply click and drag, and you'll notice that all those points that were lined up based on that camera angle have now moved. So using this process, you can come through and rotate your model to different kind of positions, and then use this infinite depth to kind of move all those points in that area. So using this move action, you can come through and move points on your model to manipulate how the topology will flow across the mesh or simply add different shapes and elements to your meshes.